So welcome to another crazy sewer liner job. This is just about the most perfect example of how great sewer lining is. Take a look at this crazy situation. Currently we're looking at a packed full, almost, 4-inch clay, vitrified clay at a lateral, and all this paper and solids blocking up and not going anywhere. We are also looking at an inch and a quarter sewer auger by Electric Eel brand, if you're curious. And I'm operating by hand about 25 feet straight in the line through a basement cleanout. Fortunately, if this was through a vertical cleanout somewhere out in the yard, I suspect it would have been a bigger struggle controlling how I turned and pulled my cable, if that makes any sense. The biggest challenge here was being able to bridge the gap over a damaged section of clay pipe where the bottom was completely gone. And currently, my auger cable kept taking a dive down through the bottom and burring, burrowing into the dirt. But once I coaxed some debris out of the way and was finally able to get my cable and camera through, then I knew I had a good shot at doing a liner here. Otherwise this would require somehow moving a small shed or tearing it down and digging because of the particular situation we were faced with. On top of that, the homeowner had recently put a fence around the entire backyard and would require a fence post to be pulled out and then replaced just to get the mini excavator in there. Once I got my camera past this section, I was careful how I moved it to observe everything. Then I got my sewer cable moving stuff through, plus some water flowing to flush some of that out. As you just saw, there was a transition from PVC, and that was Schedule 35, to clay, and it shifted a bit. Then as I pull back, you can see a bunch more of the goop in the way. It's badly broken and missing the bottom out, like I had said. And the only real problem at this point was being able to get my sewer auger over the missing section of pipe. Uh, but fortunately, that was, went relatively smoothly since I had the camera in the line at the same time to see everything. Of course, smoothly in this case doesn't transition too quickly as I was at this junction for quite some time, carefully trying to pull down the chunks of paper and not make the pipe collapse or break apart, apart any further. As I toy around with this section, I then run some water on, down the pipe to help loosen and flush out some more debris. Here is just a game of trying to coax some more goop off the uh, left side of the pipe there as I'm turning and pushing and pulling and just trying to make it fall down uh, by repetitively kind of trying to twist against it with my cutter head and then I'll show you in a little bit here I was successful so I was finally able to get a big chunk here basically pushed it down into the missing hole on the bottom of the clay pipe uh, just basically get out of the way, open up the pipe to full diameter, more or less. And it can go and f stay there until it fossilizes for all we care. But that's the main piece I wanted to get out of the way. Then the rest is pretty much up against the uh, inside of the pipe wall, not a problem. Plus when I insert and inflate the liner, it will just press it up again so we'll never see it again. Well, here we are, and this is at the end of the 4-inch epoxy liner all done. And as I pull it back, uh, just up above this 45, there's the, there's the transition from clay to PVC that was offset pretty badly. And just as I pull it back here is the chunk of pipe that was missing off the bottom of the clay that we just bridged over across. And that was completely missing, and now it's not. There's also a few joints as I pull back, looks kind of jagged in the liner. And we just rolled over and took care of them. So that turned out beautiful. And then at some point as I pull back, there was a random angle that kind of dipped down from the house. At this point, right there, you can kind of see that and smooth that all over. Um, and then as it comes up and it will level back out and this was also another funny goofy looking transition starting to come apart um, so we took care of multiple issues in just a short section fortunately 
of the sewer liner coming out of the house foundation. This was definitely one of those projects I wasn't completely sure it would work out until it was all done and finished. I think that's why I didn't record the process, just being a bit superstitious that something won't turn out if I have a camera going, under the assumption that it will go exactly to plan. So here we are, it looks beautiful, and again, thanks for checking in.